Hi everyone, welcome back. I really hope you're all doing well and that your houseplants are keeping you busy. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit funny, I've got a bit of a cold. So today I'm going to be doing some pruning. I've been saving some old crunchy leaves, especially for you guys, so I can cut them off. This one's been driving me mad. So this palm, I've had it for a couple of years and it literally didn't do anything for about probably the last year. It hasn't really grown. It was just kind of surviving and not thriving. So I'm thrilled to see that it has actually started producing some lovely new leaves. Nice bright green leaves. And all I did for this to happen was just to fertilise it. So I think it was about three weeks ago I fertilised it just with my liquid baby bio and then pretty much straight after it started producing new leaves so obviously just needed a bit of a, a feed. And also I've now got a, a grow light up above so that's going to help it thrive. My fishbone cactus was looking a little bit worse for wear shall I say so I got him a new grow light the lights from Amazon which I'll link below for you and then all I did was purchase the cord separately so it's just literally a cord that plugs into the wall and I'm really happy with it I think it looks quite nice as well anyway back to the pruning of the palm let's cut off this horrible crunchy leaf. Oh, I've been dying to do this for ages. That's better. Good as new. I just gave him a water this morning. I like to keep the soil slightly moist with this palm. It doesn't really like drying out. And I did add a tiny little bit of fertilizer again. When I last fertilised it, I only used the tiniest drop of fertiliser, so it was quite diluted. This time I added just a little bit more. And then with my beautiful white star, I had to treat it yesterday for spider mites, which was really annoying. So I wiped down all the leaves, every single leaf, with my neem oil, horticultural soap and warm water mix. I'll link it all in the description box for you. I get all my products from Amazon. So I mix it up in a spray bottle and then I just wipe down every single leaf. And I then put some of my systemic treatment into the soil. I noticed though, this is the soil that the plant actually came with in the pot. It's not very well draining. So I've already treated it now and I had to kind of saturate the soil to make sure the treatment works. So I'm just gonna leave it for now, but. Once that dries out, I think I'm going to repot it. I don't know how it ended up with spider mites. None of my other plants have got spider mites. Possibly they came in on the plant because this is actually one of my newer plants. I did give it a thorough check before I brought it home, but I guess when I first got it, there might have just been a couple on it on some of the leaves that are tucked inside and I just didn't notice. So there's a, a new leaf here that I'm going to cut off because it's gone really crispy. The spider mites had got it, so I'm just gonna snip that one off. The rest of it looks okay. I've got an old yellowing leaf I need to cut off my Maranta. This guy was in the kitchen, and to be honest, I don't think it was getting enough light. It was quite far back from the window, probably I would say getting low light. You can actually grow these in lower light conditions, but I wouldn't say that they would thrive. So I would recommend putting them in medium light or you can put them in bright indirect light, but just make sure they're not too close to the window. And something else to note, if you are keeping them in lower light conditions, just make sure that you're not watering them as much because the less light they receive, the less water they're going to need. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off this yellow leaf. I can't really do it <laughs> with one hand because it's a bit um, difficult holding the camera. All done. It's looking very handsome again now. So 
So I've actually had some browning on this plant, which is a bit disappointing because it's been growing so well. And this can be due to a number of factors. It could be lack of humidity, it could be that it's been getting too much direct sun. And then the other thing that I heard or read somewhere is that if you are watering these with cold water, which I generally don't do, I actually use kind of room temperature water. Um, but yeah, if, it, if the water's too cold, apparently they can get these brown patches on them. So next time I water it, I'm gonna make sure the water's a little bit warmer than normal. So with this one, all the new growth seems to be coming through really nice. But the leaf before the new growth is a bit crispy. So with these, you can normally just kind of pull the leaf off. It's a bit difficult doing this with one hand. <laughs> just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with the rest of the plant and then I'll show you once I've finished and hopefully it'll be looking a little bit prettier. So here it is all cleaned up. I have left a few of the leaves on with the brown patches but I took most of them off. So I have a feeling that the brown patches on this particular plant were caused by too much direct sun because this windowsill is a west facing window and it does get quite a bit of sun in the afternoon. So I'm going to have to move this plant somewhere else where it's not getting so much direct sun. And I'll keep an eye on the watering, I'll make sure the water is a little bit warmer the next time I water it. But apart from that, it is doing well, lots of new growth. It's really, really beautiful. I might actually hang it somewhere and then it can start trailing. So I've obviously got a ton of pruning to do in here, but I think that's gonna be a whole video just doing that because it's gonna take me a while to tackle that. It's like a proper jungle in there. I mean, everything's thriving, but I'm gonna need to chop back the Fetonia and I'll leave the jewel orchids to do their thing, although I might propagate some of them. But yes, I think I'll film this as a separate video because there's quite a bit of pruning to do in there. So next up, we've got my Alocasia stingray, which has just grown a new leaf, this one. But one of the old leaves has died back and it's all floppy, so it needs cutting off. So I've been dying to do this as well, but I've been saving it. Try not to cut it too close to the base, just in case you get any rotting. These um, pruners are sterilized, by the way. And I do need to get myself a smaller pair for my house plants. These are actually kind of garden ones, but they'll do, that's better. And also I just wanted to show you that my variegated monstera is getting another new leaf, which is rather exciting. So another plant I've been meaning to prune for a while is my aglaonema. You can see that some of the leaves have gone yellow, they're all floppy, ready to be cut off. Sometimes you can literally pull them away from the stem um, but they're not at the stage where they can be pulled off yet so I'm just going to trim them off. Eventually you'll be able to pull these bits off. Wow, that's looking much nicer now without those old leaves hanging over the sides. 
I've had tons of new growth from this as well. There's one leaf on this guy that's bugging me, it's this one. It's really damaged and it's pretty much had it. So I'm just gonna trim that off. Same with this guy. This, this is an old battered leaf that needs trimming. I'm not sure whether to trim this one. I might leave that one for now and just trim this one. I just filmed a video recently to show my newest plants, which was this one, this one, and my Wallacea cyanea. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it below for you. And uh, this one's doing great, tons of new growth. Don't need to trim anything off you. It's growing like mad. Well, what can I say about you? Last year I actually cut my oxalis back and let it regrow. This year I left it just to see what would happen. It is actually flowering. I think I'm just going to leave it for now. And then finally I have got a few plants in here that need a prune. As you can see my white knight has got a full on yellow leaf. It has been producing lots of new growth. So beautiful. I'm pretty sure that the cause of this yellowing is from overwatering, and that's because I had to treat all the plants for thrips. I found a few thrips on my crystallinum on this leaf, and I panicked and I obviously treated all the plants for thrips. But so far so good, I can't see any on any of them and the crystallinum has grown this beautiful new leaf here. But obviously some plants at this time of year don't really appreciate being given a really good watering, which is what you have to do when you are treating them. So I'm pretty sure that's why we've got this yellow leaf, but hopefully the others will be all right. And then also, got this one on my varicosum which is an old leaf that's dying off which I might trim and then we've got this old leaf on my pictum tricolor but I've had lots of new growth from all the plants in here which is really cool got this lovely new beachy eye leaf a new leaf. I also wanted to say a massive thank you to Angela from Magic Paintings for sending me this absolutely beautiful portrait that she painted of me and my bird monster and there's some of my plants in the background. Thank you so much that was so kind and thoughtful of you and I love how you have highlighted my hair in gold. You made me look very pretty, thank you. I'll link Angela's details in the description box below. Again, thank you so much. That really brightened my day when that turned up. And it fits in really well in here in my office next to all my plants. Right, let's snip this leaf off. Much better. I can't wait to see what this leaf looks like when it unfurls. I can't really tell if there's going to be much variegation or not. You can see some tiny speckles. So for now, I think I'm going to leave the varicosum leaf. It will probably end up just dying back and it'll probably just um, snap away from this stem here. But I just wanted to show you the brand new leaf that just unfurled. 
how beautiful. And then there's another one on the way there. All the plants really seem to be enjoying my new Spider Farmer grow light. It's obviously not switched on at the moment, I don't want to blind you all. But they've all been growing like crazy. This is the newest leaf for my Soderoi. Freshly unfurled. Beautiful. I want to cut this, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. <laughs> there is a new leaf coming out there. I really can't wait to see what that looks like. Very exciting. I think everyone else is looking good. This is the newest leaf from the Pink Splash, but there is another one on the way. I just also wanted to show you my Dreamyopsis Maculata, which has come back from the dead. Come back from dormancy. Look at that beautiful spotty leaf. I love it. So there's a massive kind of bulb in the middle and it's kind of sprouting from that. Plus the shoots coming up from the soil. And also last year, it grew this really long um, flower spike and then on the end of it, it looked like there was like a miniature plant growing on it, like some little bulbs. So I actually planted that, where is it? Oh, here it is. So the bit that was growing off the end of the flower spike, I actually planted back in the soil and it has rooted and it is producing a new plant. So I might actually take this out and plant it up in its own pot. It's, it gets pot bound very quickly, so I might have to repot this whole plant again soon. I already repotted it once, but it's already kind of filling out this pot as well. So I think I might have to repot it again, but I'm really excited that it's come back from dormancy. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah, just wanted to show you. I'm also going to be hanging another grow light from this bracket. Originally I had a different idea and I was going to mount a light on the wall but I changed my mind so I'm going to be doing what I've done downstairs and just hanging a grow light above this shelf here and then I might possibly get another light for this shelf under here but we'll see. So I think that's all the pruning I'm going to be doing today. Thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and let me know what you're doing with your time at the moment. Are you doing lots of indoor gardening, outdoor gardening? How are you keeping busy? Let me know in the comments and take care everybody and I'll see you all soon. Bye.